we can write the expanded form with the decimal numbers also. So the expanded form we used to write in the whole numbers. For example, if I'll ask you to write 53 in the expanded form, what will I write here? So I'm going to write the tens place value here, then the ones place value. So it means that first of all, I'm going to write for this five, there are five tens. So it means five into 10, then three ones. Okay, so three into one. If you're going to solve this, you will get 50 plus 3 and this is the expanded form. But if I have these decimal numbers, I'm going to write with a similar technique and let's see how. Take the, this is the 10th and this is 1's. Okay, so if you'll write initially, it will help you. So this is 5 1's and 2 10th. So there are two ways in which you can write as in a fractional form. Or you can write as 2 into 0 0.1 also. So both the ways are correct and depends on the question what is it asking you. So this is in the decimal form and this is the fractional representation. So I hope this is clear. So I'm going to write both the forms for your convenience. So let's write here the 5 ones. And then when it changes the place, so this is the 10th place and this is the 100th. So let's write here and you can also try in between. So this is 2 into 1 by 100 okay? or you can write in the decimal form also. So this is okay. So you can choose either of the two. So now this becomes 5 into 1 plus 2 into now this becomes 10, 100 and this is 1000. Okay. So now this is 1 by 1000 or you can pick 2 into 0 0.001 so either of the 2. Now this becomes 5 into 1, 5 ones and then 2 into 1 by 10,000. Why? Because this is 10th, this is 100th, this is 1000th and this is 10,000th. So I hope this is clear. So now you can choose whatever the question says and just follow the similar steps. Okay.